Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is a follow-up on my eBay Junk MacBook. First things first. So, uh, if you haven't seen my earlier video, I'd recommend taking a look at that, seeing what issues I came across buying eBay Junk laptop or MacBooks, and let's uh, carry on from where we left off. Uh, from where we left off was this machine is run uh, six gigs of RAM unintentionally because uh, the big C, uh, not the same thing. <laughs> uh, the current viral state uh, caused postage come from China uh, to be seized or stopped and I had my RAM stick cancelled, uh, the RAM upgrade. So this is currently running six gigs of RAM. I have noticed it hang up a little bit with that setup and it's 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 not. It wouldn't really, it doesn't really surprise me realistically. Um, this thing is still pretty useful today. I use it on the daily. Uh, I don't prefer, I don't really use gaming laptops as my main laptops. Uh, I don't really have a gaming laptop anymore uh, because I find them to be just a waste of money. Uh, I'm perfectly happy uh, investing into a PC that, or my Mac Pro that I can game on any on any any time I want with, the, with great resolution, with 1440p gaming, perfectly fine. So yeah, this is just a pretty much a YouTube, Google search, uh, laptop or writing essays if I'm in doing, if I need to, or doing work on if I need to. It's, it's more than capable of doing that. And it's more than capable of still supporting current applications. So uh, what else is there to do to this machine? Well, uh, I got my four gigs RAM. Uh, I actually got them cheaper again in a local store. Uh, generally, what people are doing nowadays is they're upgrading 16 gigs of RAM and throwing out the 8 gigs of RAM that are in their machines. So I got that for 5 euros. So it's cheaper again. So if we're talking about that old uh, objective of staying under the 120 euros mark, I think I have stayed under that 120 euro budget. Besides that, what I'm going to do is actually install the stick of RAM and uh, do some benchmarks. And we're going to see how powerful this machine actually is. So, this is the machine. We're just going to unplug the battery. We still have our SSD right here. As you may see. But what we're going to do is change out the RAM. This is our two gig stick that we had in there all this time that came with the machine. And here is our four gig stick. Obviously not matching, but again, this is a cheap build and your RAM doesn't always have to match to get the proper performance out of that. So before doing anything else, putting it back together or anything, there's no point if the RAM stick is dead. Plug it back in. Open her up, turn her on. And uh, yeah, there we go. All good. And what I'm going to do is close that. Now I'm going to close everything up and we're going to check this out and see how well this is running. So we are in and we are running eight gigs of RAM at 1333 on this MacBook, uh, on this 1066 support MacBook. Uh, that is pretty epic. Uh, this is the 2009, late 2009, as it says there. We are running the 2.26 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo, uh, a crappy NVIDIA in the, uh, 9400M. And yeah, it's, it's pretty, 
pretty nippy machine, so it is. We got our 8 gigs of RAM. Now, I know nowadays 8 gigs of RAM and all the rest isn't exactly the, how do you say, fastest in the world. Like, my Mac Pro has about 40 gigs of RAM and it's not even fully populated. So, I get that this is not exactly the most exciting thing in the world, but think about it this way. This is a MacBook that's still fully supported for 75 euro that you could have used straight off uh, by just changing the hard drive. 75 euro MacBook, it's not very bad. It's not all that bad, to be honest. So guys, after leaving this overnight, I have actually gotten Catalina running on this machine. Just waiting for it to load. I am shocked that this is actually working so fin well, that this update came through and everything. gonna hopefully have this load up hmm <laughs> optimize your Mac performance battery life maybe he affected until complete okay that's just the message that just popped up in the far right and I can see that this thing is still loading obviously this is I haven't actually logged into this yet this is still compiling everything and guessing. And message is gone. Now, okay, here we go. We are in, we have Share analytics, I don't mind that. There is a wee bit of beach ball in here. Actually, go back, yeah. Cool. Now this should be working on the Apple form or the no longer on journaled, but on Apple something something format, <laughs> uh, which means that the format is more optimized for the SSD. Uh, this is taking a little bit longer. Okay. Uh, approve Siri. To, um, share audio recordings. No, thank you. What my surprise is, is that 9400 uh, is actually working pretty well. Let's stick it on. Oh, can't, can't use auto. So, yeah, so I'm really surprised that this is working so well. Um, this is my 75 euro MacBook. <laughs> uh, Let's just change the background just to kind of. So, night shift back patch. Let's install that. And let's, let's first just check out. There we go. We are running Catalina 10.5, on my two, late 2009 MacBook. And I'm gonna be testing this for a little bit. That graphics card has no business with this operating system. That's all I can say. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna do some more testing on this and this is nuts. So after the Catalina updates, 
Uh, I've been running this for the last two days since the update and I just wanted to make sure that this is a viable option for people who have this machine. Uh, the only thing I will say that you, is a Catalina issue is that you will lose out on 32-bit application support. So that means you won't be able to play those old 32-bit games. Uh, a lot of the applications third-party are 32-bit still and haven't done the upgrade yet. Would I recommend the Catalina update right now? Not really, and possibly not for this machine. Uh, let me explain. So, uh, the actual graphics card that's on this, as I said, is not met is not metal supported. Uh, this leaves you with very limited uh, amount of applications that will that need that metal support, especially nowadays in Catalina's world. Without that metal support, you are limited, you're limiting yourself. Uh, so you are when it comes to games, because a lot of games are now running off metal. Again, this is not a gaming machine. If you were using this as a workday YouTube machine, this is just, this would be perfect. This is, this is beyond perfect because everything works. The disk drive works, the Wi-Fi works, Bluetooth works, everything. I've tested microphones, the camera. On this update, the MacBook 2009 is 100% supported, as far as I can tell. The only uh, thing that's literally a daily that comes to mind that isn't supported is the uh, is the airdrop uh, function, and it just doesn't show up here anymore. So airdrop is not here, but for me that's not a problem because I rarely use airdrop uh, on most machines. Besides that, everything else is supported as far as I can tell, absolutely everything. Uh, as we can see here, we are idling at 15% at the moment, and we're currently on battery life. And the one thing I will say about this upgrade, this has sped up my computer dramatically. The fans don't blow up anywhere near as much as on High Sierra. I feel like High Sierra as the last update for this machine was built to cripple the machine and from what I've seen from this so far. Basically, even with the SSD, with the eight gigs of RAM, this machine was blown up on the fans. The, the CPU was pegged at 100% nearly all the time. I tried reinstalling the OS, that did not work. Everything about this just kind of smelt of planned obsolescence uh, on Apple's end, which is, hilarious because these machines they're perfectly capable of running these new operands so as you can see here in activity motor the system is running at full usage at 13.95 percent which from this it says 21 so it's not far off but i'd i believe the system monitor a little bit more uh it's it's amazing how very just getting past that uh how do you say that last update that Apple officially released for this machine? This is uh, quite uh, quite annoying, if you ask me. Now, would I recommend this 100% uh, if you are using this as a daily driver, not for graphical, uh, just like making essays, a college machine, you know, uh, watching videos, watching YouTube, all the rest. It's fantastic for that a little bit heavy on a little bit on the heavy side but it supports dvds if you, you still use dvds some students that's all they can afford uh we're not going to talk about streaming uh or anything that well yeah of course you can stream you got netflix and all this online like this machine is fantastic i have to say it's the best 100 uh 100 euros 100 or so euros i've spent on a laptop and it's a macbook so i have the build quality there as well and i've got the latest operating system on this machine it is pretty quick and it does do everything that i need to do would i recommend it if you need 32-bit support for applications i would probably say stay with mojave 
Uh, as far as I remember, Mojave is still still has 32 sub 32 bit support for applications, but Catalina is that step probably too far. And I do trust me, I do get the reason why Apple may have said no more updates for these machines because they want to move on to the metal support that these graphics cards are just not capable for. They want to move on to certain things that they want to they want to make sure that they wipe Nvidia off their platform. Let's let's just be honest with that. They are all for straight ahead with the AMD train and they want to make sure that they have gotten rid of as much need for Nvidia's input as possible as we all know with uh, the beef between them two at the moment. Um, it's just nice to know that we actually can do this still and still have native support for the graphics. This is just great news. Um, yeah, uh, I would totally recommend picking up a MacBook still today. It is still a very capable machine. And I hope this uh, kind of finishes off what that last video was meant to finish off before uh, the current state of affairs uh, kind of stuck its boot in when I tried to finish it off. This is what we were looking for. This was the eight gigs of RAM, the SSD upgrade and the MacBook for under 120 euros. And it's great. Anyways, if you found this video helpful and you enjoyed the content, and if you want to take a look at the last video, I recommend that. And that will give you kind of an idea where, how I got this start off but um yeah uh thanks for leaving a comment if you have any questions thanks very much for watching